Okay, so one, welcome. Glad you're here. I'm Brian Waldron. and I direct the Caesar Center at the University of Memphis, Center for Applied <laughs> Earth Science and Engineering Research. And today we're gonna do an edible aquifer. So we're gonna recreate our aquifer system of sand and clays with a breach in the clay, which we hope we don't create, with Coke, ice, ice cream, and Oreo cookies. So Coke and ice form the, um, Coke and ice form the Memphis aquifer, which is confined. It's the primary aquifer for over a million people, just local to us, but it underlies portions of eight states and is comprised mostly of sand. So we'll be putting some aquifer material in your cup. Then I'm going to come by and pour in some aquifer water. So this forms the uh, confined aquifer called the Memphis aquifer. Do you need me to do your cup real quick? Okay. And what we'll do is we'll put ice cream on top. Ice cream forms the confining unit or the aquitard. We call it an aquitard because it's leaky, meaning that there's uh, naturally occurring, for us, breaches, naturally occurring breaches in that clay. The aquifer, the Memphis aquifer, which is the Coke, is around two to three thousand years old. But we see water as young as 12 years old in it, which means that there's holes that are naturally occurring in that ice cream. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab your cup and take that ice cream and smooth it out as best you can. You do not want to create a breach. So go ahead and smooth it out as best you can. That's a lot. If you need another little dollop, let us know. But it should just kind of smooth out. Try not to create a, uh, a breach. Yep, so you're forming a wonderful confining unit. And then on top of the confining unit is a shallow aquifer. Now that is not confined. It's prone to contamination because it's in a very large urban area. And the, uh, that shallow aquifer is sand and clay, uh, sand and gravel. So everybody grab two Oreos and crumble them up and make your gravel on top. <laughs> there you go. Here you go. Two cookies. Just grab two. Grab two. Grab two. Just crumble them up and stick them on top. So why y'all do that? As many of you may know, we have a lot of open positions available. We have about 20 to 25 PhD positions, five to 10 master's positions in water resources geology. And we have a few postdoc positions. So if you're interested, get with Scott, who's waving his hands, and Dan, who's waving his hands, for more information. Now, we're gonna contaminate your aquifer with grenadine. If you did a good job on your aquifer, it should not go through that ice cream. Okay, so is everybody ready? Here we go. Oh no, it's <laughs> If it goes through the ice cream. Oh, he's got a, I think he's got a. Oh, wow. Oh, look, one contaminant. You got one over here. Oh, yours is about right on the back side. Just barely. So we try to study these breaches to understand how water that can be contaminated gets to our drinking water supply. So the research that you do is applied. It impacts a million people. It really does. Now, what's the last thing we do? How do we get water out of an aquifer? We put in a what? A well. So put in your straw and enjoy your aquifer. And we appreciate your time. Hope you all have fun building an edible aquifer. Congratulations.